Robinson Show. Hey, Slim. It's Liv and Jay here. How are you? All right. Just give us a second. Rob just got a uh, a fresh drink. I got ice. I got ice. Ice. Liv, he got ice. Liv, is, is Jay there too? I'm here too. Cool. Liv and Jay, how are you guys from the I Live As I Live and Bree podcast? That's right. Got it. How are you guys? We're good. It's been a minute. We were supposed to have you on last month when I had a stomach bug and and we had to reschedule. Yeah, well, we're glad to make it on the show tonight. Thank Thank you you so much for having us on. No problem. Thank you guys. How have you guys been? Oh, pretty good. Pretty good. Just, you know, living the fresh life. You know how it is. Yeah, yeah. I I did you guys a show. (laughs) I I had a blast on your show. Well, good. We loved having you. You know, you were our first guest. Wow. 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 That's amazing. Congratulations. I know, Rob. right? <laughs> was that a good first or the worst first? Was like, that was like, I'm not interviewing that was like, anybody. We're not making again. any of those like, mistakes ever again. Done. <laughs> well, no, you were kind of like our guinea pig, and uh, it was kind of one of those things where, we're like, you know, if it goes well, then we'll keep doing it. If not, well, then we've tried it. I set the um, precedent. And it went so well. We loved it. Cool, cool. cool. That's awesome. And I, I got to thank you guys for connecting us with Bentelec, because he was, he was a fun was guy cool. to talk to. Wasn't he, though? We had a ball with him, too. <laughs> yeah, super nice guy, laid back, uh, you know, answered all of our questions. He even, like, talked with us, like, an, almost an hour after the show. Wow. So gave us some really good advice. So I, I thought it was amazing. Cool, cool. Uh, what, what, what did you learn from talking to him? So he essentially said, you know, don't be so critical of, like, your, your post, your social media post. Hmm. Just post them. Because I'm super critical. I'll delete them and re-record, and, and I just, it keeps on, like, this uh, rabbit hole. Uh, Jay's way better at the TikToking than I am. Oh my God. I have been like such the TikTok troll here lately. It's been ridiculous. And then I was telling Liv today, I was like, you know, a damn near went viral day. I did not. (laughs) But, you know, um, I had posted something and like got all these followers. And I was like, holy shit. Like, how do people like actually keep up with that? Because I was struggling. <laughs> yeah, I've never I've, I've dabbled in TikTok. It, it's a weird zone, but the Twitter, the Twitter is where I originally rocked yeah, out. No, I like I'm Twitter. Like, I like I'm more Twitter. active on Twitter than I am anything. Um, however, it, it's kind of I don't know. It, it just really depends on what's going on, yeah. like in the world before you, you know. what I'm saying like before you can get some like really good responses and, and stuff to talk about. So yeah. Yeah, but you guys, how long have you guys been doing the show together? Oh, God. Um, what is this, like our 22nd episode together? Yeah. yeah, so we've been doing it since probably the end of December. Okay. So, yeah, like fairly new and still just a great show. I, I, loved, cool. I love listening to you guys. Well, you guys have been so supportive. We appreciate it. Yeah, you got me um, listening to you guys as well. So, um, you... you um, I've got a lot to catch up on, though, apparently. <laughs> yeah, like, yeah, multiple years. <laughs> you, uh, you accompany me into my way to work in the morning. Cool. J- just uh, uh, right, right off the bat, like when I answered the phone and uh, I told you guys to hold on for a minute, you called me Slim, and I always love that. Whoa. Obviously, you spoke in the Rob already, but there's a lot of people who don't know who's who. So I love the fact that you guys know I'm Slim, that is and cool. that's Rob, and that's always... You know, just a, a neat feeling. Yeah, well, we hate that you couldn't join Rob on the show, Slim, so maybe we'll have you on sometime. Although I know Good that boy. you don't really love the interview. I, 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 I have to. He's I have still to nervous. Keep, I have to keep pushing myself to do it. I, I'm very nervous about doing other I shows. I was that way in the beginning, shows. too, even though so. I'm totally comfortable on mine. Like, so just venturing just, out and doing another show, it, it is. It's, it's something different. Uh, I'm not as interesting as Rob. I'm the tech guy. I just press buttons. <laughs> right? <laughs> or you could. No. You guys could have the Driz on. That, the, yeah. that guy is a wild. Yo, I'm one. the fucking best. Yeah, you want to just interview me for 20 minutes? Yeah, how about 35? Yeah. <laughs> I love it. I fucking love it. <laughs> yeah, we'll definitely do that. <laughs> I, I, for a moment, yeah, I mean, I was like, what? 
I got somebody else. Oh no, you got somebody <laughs> joining you? But yeah, no, you should go in and out of character just so uh, you know have a whole conversation. Right. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, I don't know. I don't know if you guys want that, but it's it's there. It's it's an option. I, I do want to uh, just for our audience, guys, and I know I have the answer, but Jay, how yeah. is the show named Live and Bree when it's Live and Jay? I know, I know. So, um, actually, Liv started the show with her good friend, Brie, and um, she wanted to focus on having a family. And so, Liv approached me, and she was like, hey, could you come on the show and do a guest slot? And I had so much fucking fun. And so, you know, I think that we mesh well together. And so, she was like, well, how about you just keep doing it? And I was like, fuck yeah. I'm down. I'm so down. Did so she that's force how you, as I live in Bree. Did she force you to get your tubes tied, though? Because that other one started a family. She doesn't want. She wants to do the show. Oh, no. I am fucking done. <laughs> done, 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 done. No more babies. No more babies. <laughs> Have you guys talked about changing the name of the show? That's a, yeah. Like, it, I don't know. But it, it, Live and Bree is are, a great we name. Are actually. So we're going to do our time. We're going to do our year. Okay. And then um, Liv and I are going to change the name of the show. Um, that way we build out our follower base and, yeah. um, you know, people kind of get the hook when we do that. We've, we've just not been creative enough to come up with a great name for our show. We've had the same. We're like, yeah. we're, like, we're going to use Robin Slim and, uh, temporarily and then we'll have a cool name. But no, it's still seven years. Which actually worked out really well for us because there were times where we've had third mics where I was like, hey, it should be Rob Slim and Slambo and yeah. uh, Slambo doesn't talk to us anymore. So yeah. we're glad we stuck with rob and slim yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yeah i mean in the very beginning we had considered changing the name but um i'll be honest i am cheap and, right. yeah so i'd already uh paid for the website you name it That's yeah. what and so, yeah. jay was just so nice and gracious enough she's like just leave it just you know change the the podcast art and include my name, and I'll be good with that. Damn. But now, as we keep going, and we're having such a great time doing it, and clearly this is, has some longevity, so we had been discussing possibly changing the name. Do you guys have any suggestions? Uh, Liv and Jay. Liv and Jay. Liv and Jay. <laughs> Liv and <laughs> Jay and Liv? <laughs> no. It just rolls right off the tongue. Right? Liv's, Liv and Jay. Liv's top billing. Liv, L- Liv and Jay. The, the LJ podcast. Or the LJP. The LJP. The, LJ, the LJP. Okay. I right. like the LJP. <laughs> I'm loving it. I am loving it. So we'll, we'll write that one down. Nice. We don't know what we'll be. We've got a whole yeah. freaking year almost now to come up with a kick-ass name. Yeah. So. Right. That's it, though. Like like I said, like when we first started, I'm like, yeah, we'll do this oh, for we'll, now. We'll have this one for now, and then eventually Seven we'll Seven years first, later. Yeah. No, it's... But it's part yeah, of still may be doing as I live and breathe, so people can just ask us a fucking question, I guess. <laughs> but, well, it's a topic. It's a more interesting. Well, well, so to give you kind of an idea why I, I personally I like uh, Robin Slim for the fact that it models old school morning radio, which is something that we were very inspired by. So if you look at old school radio, you got a free beer and hot wings, Scott and Opie, Todd, and Anthony, Opie and Anthony, uh, Scott and Todd. So Rob and Slim just yeah. worked for what our uh, type of show was going to be. Yeah. Right. And I think it continues to work. Yeah, mm-hmm. absolutely. Absolutely. I do too. And we love that old school radio. Um, you know, even our intro was kind of modeled after that. However, we've kind of, we're not sure if we're going to change the intro or not. So I don't know. What do you guys think? I, what is your intro? It's program? Like I, haven't to to your intro. Yeah. I haven't Slim listened to your intro. To our show. I heard that shit loud Slim, and clear. Slim does not yeah, do prep. Bad boy. Slim doesn't do I don't prep. prep. And Rob does the prep. I just like drink and yeah. say shit and produce and and lick olives. He's, he's got. Yeah, olives. I lick a lot of olives. <laughs> What's your intro? So tell me that. So it's like this radio announcer guy, right? I found him on Fiverr. I do like and, him. Uh, yeah. So essentially, he's just like, uh, and now as I live and breathe with Liv Matthews and Jay Jansen. So, <laughs> I like that I like this stuff. Little, uh, you know, yeah. catchy thing. So I don't know. It's, it's pretty simple, but it's just like a radio announcer host would would be introducing you at like a club. 
Okay, so we have that. Uh, we have the yeah. we we have an MMA guy that introduces us, and then we also have just guests who uh, uh, say things. So maybe try to get your guests to like we can do something right this now. Is like, Bentelac hey, and, um, this oh, is Living Brain, or, 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 or this Living is Jay. this is this is Slim from the Robin oh. Slim Show, and you're listening to Live and Jay. And don't ever use that. Don't and ever don't use ever that. use that. <laughs> <laughs> but you can open with that whole thing, even with Rob saying, don't ever use that. Like, that's still a good thing to lead into your initial, like, introduction. Uh, I agree. I like it. Yeah, we are the bad girls, so. <laughs> yeah. And we, we thought about, like, um, a name like Queens of Random, but then we thought that people would think that we were drag queens. Uh, which I could kind of see, you know. But I, I I'm not dressing up in drag. I ain't doing it. <laughs> I would really like for my my titties to be back where they used to be. Just tape them up, you know. Where do they used to be? <laughs> <laughs> they, they used to be high. Now they're just low. Uh, <laughs> yeah, they used to be real high, but they're so low you know. and sad. <laughs> low and sad. Jesus Christ! Can you send me a this before and after Jack picture of your tits? Oh, no. Some months, the some months, the before and after. Yeah, let me get a before and after picture of your tits, and I'll. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> he would rate them. Them. I know he would be like. <laughs> You just see her and just, uh, uh, just retching in the background. I see Slim being an after guy. I don't know. I kind of I kind of picture him as the after guy. Well, that's so funny because when you were uh, going through your little stomach bug, I was super concerned with you and tried yes. to FaceTime you. Yes. And you responded with, I was in the shower. I was. <laughs> oh, my God. That's amazing. <laughs> Dude, I was like, you, were you going to answer the phone? You know, like your junk in it? Like, well, like, you know, just needed like a headshot to make sure that you were all right. Just do a little assessment right quick. I didn't want you to think I like collapsed face first on the porcelain and was just bleeding right. out and dying. And I was like, yeah, I was in the shower. Yeah, yeah. He was washing the blood off yeah. in the shower. Yeah, I was pissing the blood out in the shower. Yeah. <laughs> well, you know Total that uh, I've seen it. Uh, be, you know, in my professional life, being a nurse, yes. so I was just like, um, yeah, yeah, that didn't really matter to me. The fact that I even FaceTime me, which I don't normally do, she doesn't even fucking FaceTime me. <laughs> no, I, mean, I was looking a hot mess. You, you probably been really, really scared when you like, oh, you know, when you finally saw my face. But um, I was concerned for you, so I'm glad that you have recovered and you are good. Well, that day was scary. That porcelain throne. Yeah, like I. I got the COVID test because I felt all sorts of out of it, and it was just ended up being stomach bug, stomach bug. So it was rough. And it was a hearty one, though. Yeah, yeah. It was, it, the- it was probably maybe the fourth time we've ever had to cancel a show out of seven years, and it was the first time that Rob that it was Rob. The other three were me. Slim fucks everything. Yeah, one. I don't even know. <laughs> one time was yeah. One time was my hard drive died. Oh. Or no, my motherboard. My motherboard fried. You motherboarder. I know your work once. Had work a, once. Had a training thing. Yeah, so it's probably only two times and a one time from you. Yeah. I mean, that's what it was. Three times. Yeah. It's usually Sims' fault. I mean, out of it's seven years, guys. I mean, that's not really <laughs> No. <laughs> no. <laughs> not at all. Uh, no, and we're gracious enough that we actually pre-record and edit ours, which is you know, maybe the punk thing to do, but if that happens, we usually typically try to stay uh, close to an episode ahead. It doesn't always happen. Oh, that's yeah. A, yeah, that's something we don't do. Hey, we kind of do both. Yeah. We, we record live, and then I edit it later, and usually I'm putting up the edits like a, a couple of days yeah. later. Some takes a little longer. A little so, longer to get it out. Yeah, so that, You get the live show. If you're listening live, you get it a lot sooner than you're getting the other shit. Yeah. Right, which is the whole perks of listening to the live show. But right. I mean, editing is no joke. Right. I mean, one episode, like a 40-minute, could take me four hours. Oh, no. I, I'm i not going to lie to you. That's well, My edit takes about 10 <laughs> minutes. <laughs> 30 minutes, maybe. Yeah, well, well, we're... See, we're... So, when, when we first started, I was very conscious about, like, oh, I got to go through... And check out, uh, I mean, uh, edit out all the uhs and ums. And then I got to a point like, nah, I'm just going to edit out the break music and we're good. Yeah. 
That's it. See, that's what I do. All the ums, the uhs. Uh, yeah, no, no, no. Stop that shit. type of noise. Yeah, you no. Know. I think that's why it takes me so long. It's yeah. ridiculous. Our outtakes are growing, though, tremendously. So we're going to have oh, one right. hell of an outtake. <laughs> yeah, definitely. Nice. But, like, I, I, I got to a point early on where I was like, nah, we just want this to sound like it's real. So I, I don't edit anything that we speak of at all ever i just edit uh, out our music and that's it that's pretty cool though you yeah know, well Liv and i can go off on a tangent sometimes we have these times in the studio where um you know sometimes we pre-drink before um we do yeah, a show too. which we really shouldn't drink and do a show and we've, <laughs> we've figured that out you gotta drink but then we'll have that's these, all like, we do you know 15 minute like swerves <laughs> where we've we've veered completely off the fucking topic and we're somewhere out in left field just hanging out. <laughs> yeah, maybe maybe do two shows then. Maybe do your yeah. unedited director's cut and ah. then, you know, you're like, hey, this is what people are going to want to listen to. we never done that. It's always been just like, this is it. We've been drinking a lot. Listen get. to us ramble. This is what get. you get. I've just cut the music. <laughs> That's it. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, that's a good idea. We might <laughs> actually do that. Yeah, we might actually do that. Thanks for the... the <laughs> yeah. Well, I mean, because <laughs> cause our... Be like, what the fuck were they talking about? And you couldn't really ask us because we wouldn't fucking know. Right. But, yeah. That's been seven years of our life. But that also, like, it's a de inspiration from going from the, like, listening to morning radio. Yeah. When you listen to morning radio, that shit isn't edited on the fly. That's just what they're fucking saying. Those dudes wake up in the morning and they they do their show and that's it. That's what you hear. So... That's why I kind of went away from the editing out all the uns and the ums and the just like, no, here's our conversation. This is what we said. We drank a lot of fucking alcohol. This is what you get. That's all you get. That's all you get. <laughs> well, even Stone Cold Cold Sober, when we go back and listen to the show, because we always listen to our show like I on don't Monday when it releases, yourself. both of us do. I have no fucking clue what I had said. I'm <laughs> all <not> right. <laughs> Right. No, and I can like, read. Oh, that was so stupid. And the other times I'm just like, ha I'm pretty freaking hilarious. Right? And I can relate because I just did that recently and I do that every show where I'm editing again. I only hear maybe small points uh, of things as I'm cutting out the music. But I'm like, oh, that was pretty awesome. And then there's other days where I'm like, Oh, yeah, I got to stop drinking as much as I did during that because I sound like a fucking idiot. But seven years into it, I'm just like, nah, it's all fucking gold. It's It's, it's all awesome. Like, everybody needs to hear everything I said (laughs) while I consumed 15 uh, alcoholic drinks throughout the night. Dude, I would be, like, slurping on the fucking microphone at that point. Mm. I might be giving, like, fellatio to it. Uh, uh, uh. I want to ask you guys. Fifteen drinks? Yeah, I, I lied. That was an over exaggeration. It's don't usually know. like okay. four. It's usually like four cocktails ah. is what I consume throughout the the show. Yes, so he's he's I lying. Heard, he's lying, I just you guys. Had like a twenty five percent, like you know, like a one fourth of a margarita okay. one show, and I'm going to tell you what it was a hot freaking mess. I was like, <laughs> wow. blah, 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 blah. I am right now as I speak to you guys. I am on my he's rubbing third. a napkin holder. I am he's, rubbing he's a napkin holder. A napkin I holder. am on my I think third or fourth. I can't remember fourth uh, martini, which each one oh, is nice. two ounces of gin. Oh, here he goes those ounces. I want to ask you guys: <laughs> being from the South, is there any other Southern states that you hate? You fucking hate that southern state. Um, no, not really. North Carolina, we're kind of neutral as far as that goes. Like, we have the states that you pick on, obviously. Um, West right. Virginia rings in for one of the ones that I think every southern state picks on. Why? Tennessee gets a little bit of, of shade, and then Kentucky gets quite a bit of shade. Kentucky, yeah. that's where all the... What about Tennessee? Well, you know, I'm from Tennessee, so, um, oh. you know, that... That gets compared to West Virginia a lot, um, but still, Kentucky takes the cake. All I've heard is, is a Tennessee log jammer, and I would never want to be involved in one of those. A Tennessee log? Fuck no. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. Fuck no. You, you guys is just said... sexual act? Yes. I with ladders know. and poop. <laughs> I don't know. A lot of ladders right. and poop. You guys are in North Carolina? We are, yes. I just I was just in uh, Kannapolis, North what? Carolina. 
How did you get to Canopolis? Yeah. Dude, that's like 40 minutes from us. Oh, fuck. Uh, yeah. Oh, I, I, I did. I, I went to Georgia, and then I went to uh, to visit a friend in North Carolina who lived in Canopolis, and all I did the entire time I was in Canopolis is I took uh, one picture of a Dale Earnhardt statue, because apparently NASCAR is like, your, your place is obsessed with NASCAR. <laughs> Oh, yeah. North Carolina is completely obsessed with NASCAR because Earnhardt was from here. Uh, um, Richard Petty also lived here. And then, you know, most of the race car um, owners, they actually live here. Like, Richard Childress's um, shop is actually in our town. Wow. Yeah, they have, like, a whole winery and everything like that. So, yeah, super big. <laughs> I thought that was the funniest thing. I didn't take any pictures of anything throughout my entire week of vacation, but I was like, I'm going to take a picture of this Dale Earnhardt statue. (laughs) (laughs) I'm sure you'll look back fondly on that picture. (laughs) Put it in your spank bank. Yes. There's nothing attractive about him, honestly. No, that's the whole point. He's like 4'3". He's got a decent mustache. He was the Earnhardt of stuff. Art. Yeah, I mean, he had a hell of a mustache. He <laughs> right? owns the damn mustache. <laughs> right. He could pull it off. Yeah, I want to come on that mustache. Well, the poor son of med spa, I could have outdone him. <laughs> 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 no way, no way. I don't know. How do you Next guys? Time, like, handlebar that shit for me. Ah, you know what I mean? Like, wax it up real good. Turn yeah, that shit right, up. I got it lasered off, so now we're screwed. Uh, I just have to do it with my pubes. Oh, my. That's a bit much. <laughs> I got the Earnhardt going on down there. <laughs> exactly. I got the Earnhardt going on down there. Vroom, vroom, baby. <laughs> vroom, vroom. FaceTime you. <laughs> Don't do it. Don't do it. <laughs> oh, how did you guys meet? Um, We actually met in middle school. So it was just kind of when, apparently, she's given me the rundown. Actually, last week, as a matter of fact, she was like, you know, when you first came in and they introduced you, like, I was like, well, she looks like a cool chick. I think we can be friends. And so we sat together at lunch, and we've been inseparable ever since. So Yeah, have you ever just, like, met somebody, and you're just kind of, like, almost instantly know whether you're going to like them or not? Usually so, by the face. They introduced her. Yeah. Do what? Sometimes yeah, you I'm just hate like, somebody because you know, their face cool. sucks. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know. It's a weird, like, uh, a Rob and I's relationship is very weird because I liked Rob when I saw his face, but I Whoa. assumed he hated me when oh, he yeah. saw my face. Yeah. Really? <laughs> face, face. <laughs> fucking hate that dude's face. You hate know I've had those conversations in my head with myself. <laughs> yeah, well... Yeah. yeah, I mean it happens it more happens. than I like to admit. Yeah, I would like to think that I love everybody, but I probably hate everybody. Only love a few. Exactly. Yeah, exactly. I usually hate everybody. Just that's an instinct, and then you gotta earn. You gotta yeah. earn. A, uh, like right. you gotta earn it. Prove me wrong. Yeah. Yep. I so. like it. Well, I hope you like us, God. So fickle. What do you guys have planned for the next show? Definitely. Well. We've got uh, a lady from That Bitch Podcast. She is going to be on our show. We're recording this weekend. So um, she lives in Canada. So, hey. Yeah. Hey. But it was so hey. funny. On, um, I was listening to one of Frankie. her episodes, and she was talking about how she just was sitting on this guy's lap. Uh, I guess cool. they'd had a previous relationship. He called her. Essentially, it was a booty call. I don't think that she knows that. But... <laughs> She was sitting on his lap, and mysteriously, her bodysuit, I, I didn't know that we were doing bodysuits again, but clearly we're doing that. Like Spanx? She was wearing Spanx? No, not like Spanx, but like the freaking, um, it's almost like a leotard that like buttons in the crotch. They're like, fucking horrible. Nobody yeah. could ever like my that. white Power Ranger one. costume? <laughs> <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> So she said that they just automatically, like, you know, just uh, it come to unsnap the little baby onesie she was wearing. Right. And yeah. he flipped her over the table and just gave it to her. Oh, fuck um, yeah. That's what that means uh, when the was, onesie snaps. Yeah, I was just kind of like, uh, and then she was like a like a surprise that it happened. And I'm That's like, never happened to me ever in my whole entire <laughs> life. And I'm kind of salty about that right it's now. Never. All right, well, I might be going to North Carolina again in a couple weeks, so... <laughs> <laughs> so then he's got a Power Ranger suit. And, and I got a onesie. I got a couple of onesies. Um, 
We're going to have to post that. Yeah. Yeah. That's an intro. If that's not an intro, I don't know what it is. I don't know what it is. That's awesome, though. We're game. Yeah, we're game. I don't have a husband, so there's that. Right. He's real good. Well, so I don't know what you're into. I, I have a Spider-Man onesie. I have a, um, a white Power Ranger onesie. <laughs> I don't know what you're into. I have a Spider-Man onesie. Yes. <laughs> Fucking yes. yes. The moisture. Okay. I know. That just made me moist. <laughs> Where do you get a grown man, like... Spider-Man onesie. Amazon. <laughs> Amazon. Get out. I'm fucking getting one. I yeah. know. What if we had matching ones? Like? I'll send you guys a picture or a selfie later. You will. You Please will. do. Please do. I've got to see this. Oh, you... I agree 100%. Somebody's got to and you are going to see it. <laughs> we love you guys. You guys Yay, are great. I can't wait to. <laughs> We're going to find you both. Do you have a onesie? I don't have no onesies. I can give him one of mine. Oh, I have th- threesies. I only do he has multiples. things. Yeah, threesies. <laughs> do they got feet in them? No feet. Cut the feet off. No feet. Yeah. Okay. All no. right. <laughs> There's yeah. a shoot in the back. You know how the old school uh, ones have the yeah. little buttons and you could like slap your ass out? Yeah. You always got the shoot. Cut that shoot off. <laughs> Fuck yeah. <laughs> so crazy. They don't have no shoes. <laughs> Rob's like, yeah, fuck yeah. <laughs> Hell yeah. He's like, no, he's never even saw this onesie. He's like, absolutely not. No. <laughs> Only Slim does onesie things. Mm. We we got to wrap this up, guys, but it's been a blast talking to you. Absolutely. It's been a blast. Thanks for having us on, guys. We appreciate it. No we problem. Really do. Thank you, guys. Thank you, guys. Where can everybody find you? I'm looking forward to that picture, Slim. All right, yeah, I'll do it. I'll do it. I'm, Carolina, call us. I'm drunk yeah, enough that I'm just going to do it like right after the show. And He's I'll doing a North it. Carolina yeah, party yeah. later. He doesn't even give yeah. a shit. He's doing all that shit. Well, hell yeah. Bring it on. We'll buy you a beer. Yeehaw. <laughs> 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 all uh, right, guys. You have a great night. You and too. A good rest of the show. Thank you. Thank you so much. Everybody, listen to As I Live in Bree. Please, check us out. Thanks. See ya. Thank you. Bye, guys. Bye. Deuces.